Well, this is another big story that we have been following. Developing right now, the city of Denver announced that four shelters are being shut down for immigrants. And now city officials are apparently asking rental property owners to rent directly to immigrants. Yeah, certainly a controversial <laughs> suggestion. Fox 31's Lisa what? D'Souza joins is us it? now. They're asking owners Why? to cap rent prices as Whoa. well at about $2,000 a month. She joins us live with more huh. on this Go request from the city. Lisa, good morning. Charge what I Good want morning. Charge. Yes, that is the latest from city officials that we have heard at this point. So we know just two months ago, it's estimated there were about 4,500 people staying in those migrant shelters. Mm. Now that number is believed to be less than 2,000. So a pretty oh, big difference good. here in That's just a, pr- a few yeah, months. Pretty, Let's get into some of the latest difference. details here. Details. We spoke with Denver's Department of Housing about a recent email that actually went out to some rental property owners <laughs> in Denver, specifically asking them to consider mm. renting to immigrants. Oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe that? Wow. Now, right now, it's, hey, could you maybe uh, mm-hmm. rent to some immigrants? Just wait till they compel them. Yeah. Yeah. And soon it will be, hey, you know what? Uh, you're going to rent to these immigrants. In <laughs> fact, they're just going to stay in your place. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, you'll go to jail if uh, if you refuse. Yeah. Oh. Watch that happen. Well, first of all, uh, City of Denver, screw you, saying that you have to cap, uh, that you want them yeah. to cap it at $2,000. <laughs> but uh, you just gave me an idea. Don't tell the illegals about what you can get away with in Atlanta. That's where squatting oh. is a thing, big time. Oh yeah, they're gonna they're they're trying to pass thousands a law, of but, people. But right now, why don't you just mm-hmm. <laughs> Abbott send bus the no? Because then that hurts the people that that rightfully own those homes. True. Never mind. <laughs> then just erase that. <laughs> <sighs> I, what a mess, man! But these blue cities, like you said, they brought it among upon yeah. themselves. Yes, they did, and they continue to. Sanctuary City, baby. Uh, and here's AOC's district. She's another uh, Sanctuary City person. Huh? Um, here's her district in New York City, yeah. now basically a third world nation. Look at this. Man. Look at that. It's like oh man, a Moroccan at... street bazaar right there in, in Brooklyn. Look at this. If you're listening, it's just piles what? of clothes. It, it's more disorganized. Out on, the, than, than a, on the sidewalk. More disorganized than a flea market. Oh, by far. <laughs> It's a mess. Yeah. Oh, I like the music, though. Got some tunes playing. Uh, and I guess that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, just let the country go to hell. Now, yesterday or whenever it was, uh, mm. people in AOC's district did line up and protest uh, a new migrant shelter opening up. They did? People are pissed, man. Yeah. I, I, congratulations. Well, they should be. Congratulations. Look what's going on. We're just overwhelmed with it now. We're just... and. The difference is, from five or ten years ago, they're experiencing it not just in Texas. Yeah, it's not Not a just California anymore. It's not a hypothetical. Ne- right. Everybody is is living in a border state now. What is it that Obama used to say? Everybody's got to have some skin in the game? Yes. Well, congratulations. Now you do. Yeah. Blue and now cities. you know what it feels like. <laughs> now, New York City knows what it feels like. Brooklyn, Brooklyn and, and the Bronx know What it feels like. Chicago knows what it feels like. Denver knows. (laughs) Everybody knows now. And it's it's not a comfortable situation. And it doesn't mean if you want it fixed that you hate people from other countries. We're not xenophobes. We're not racists. We just know this is unsustainable. And it's been going on here for decades. But now you're experiencing it. And so everybody's got skin in the game, like you just said. You know, it wasn't that long ago the Democrats were speaking out against illegal immigration. Bernie Sanders back in 2007 had this to say. I believe we have very serious immigration problems uh, in this country. I think, as you've heard today, sanctions against employers who hire illegal immigrants is virtually non-existent. Our border is very porous. Hmm. My main concern is what it will do in terms of driving wages down Not only for low-wage workers, but for professional, skilled workers as well. And I think at a time when the middle class is shrinking, the last thing we need is to bring over a period of years millions of people into this country who are prepared to lower wages for American workers. I think it's a bad idea. Oh, do you? Hmm. How do you feel about it now? No kidding. Interesting. That's interesting. You know, and he brings up employers. Employers... Yeah, they uh, they should be held accountable if they're knowingly hiring illegals uh, to do a job that citizens need to be doing. Um, but they can't 
be the local police department. Employers, if you're presenting them with some form of identification, you don't know if it's real or not. Do they have to track that down? Why isn't the federal government doing their job? Instead, they're trying to put it on him, like he was doing back then, trying to put it on the employers. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes there are bad actors. But a lot of times, they just, they don't know. When you hire people for your lawn, you can't even ask them. So how do you know if they're here or not, legally? Yeah. You don't. I'm looking on Bernie Sanders' website right now. We have another clip for him. That was 2007. We have a 2015 clip. But on his website right now, he wants a moratorium on uh, deportations. Oh, geez. Uh, he wants to expand DACA. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Welcome refugees. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, dismantle cruel and inhumane deportation programs and detention centers. Oh, there's so many of those uh, right, programs. Right. Cruel and inhumane. That's right. So Terrible. Uh, so so. Uh, I, I, I forgot what he said in 2015, but I know it doesn't line up with what his website says now. Let's see. Jeez. Here it is. Sharply raising the level of immigration we permit, even up to the up to a level of open borders. About sharply mm. open borders. Open no, borders. That's a, that's a Koch brothers proposal. <laughs> the really? idea. What? Of course. I Cost. mean, that's a right wing proposal, which says essentially <laughs> there is no. no. It's, it's but it would anybody. It would make Excuse a lot me. of global poor richer, wow. wouldn't it? And it'd make everybody in America poor. Then you're doing away with with the concept of a nation state. And I don't think there's any country in the world which believes in that. Wait. If you believe wow, in a nation bizarre? state or in a country uh, called the United States guy. or the UK or Denmark or any other country, a hater. Uh, you have an obligation, in my view, to do everything we can to help poor people. Yeah. But right-wing people in this country would love is an open border policy. Oh, wait. And all kinds of people who work for 2 or $3. Are you kidding hour, that? That would be great for them. I don't believe in that. I think we have to raise wages in this country. I think we have to do everything that we can to create the millions of jobs. You know what youth unemployment in the United States of America today? If you're white, a white kid, high school graduate, 33%, a Hispanic, 36%, African American, 51%. You think we should open the borders and bring in a lot of low-wage workers? No. What do you think maybe we should try to get jobs for those kids? So I think from a moral responsibility, Wait. we've got to do work with the rest of the industrialized world. Wow, is that bizarre? To, uh, to address the problems of international poverty, but you don't do that by making people in this country even poor. Wow! When have you ever heard a single Republican ever say, you know what we need is just open borders? I've never, ever.